Hello. At this time, I would like to invite you to take a moment to bring ourselves together for spiritual centering as we prepare this evening for a time of restful sleep and another day tomorrow. You will hear the word center often. It is the first word in the table of contents in the orientation handbook and the first word when describing this organization. Centering is a vital part of this journey. Tonight, we will gather to center ourselves, light a candle, or if you are without a candle, look toward a light in your space or the sun from outside. Remember that we look to the light as a means of direction. Take a moment to make yourself comfortable in your chair or wherever you are. Feel the space around you and begin to feel the breath moving in and out of your body as it fills your lungs with replenishment. Count to four as you breathe inward. Count to six as you breathe outward. Let's do this again. Count to four as you breathe inward. Count to six as you breathe outward. You can close your eyes if you are comfortable doing so and picture yourself in your favorite space of sanctuary. You are standing in a wooded area surrounded by tall trees. These aren't just any trees, but trees grown on a mountainside 1,000 feet high. The trees growing on the rocks of the cliffs struggle to do so, and through their search to survive, they become stronger as they find their way through a space of being uncomfortable. These spruce and maple trees take a long time to grow, and as they do, they provide cleaner air, shade for your protection, and warmth with their branches. Their rings are close together, creating a tight grain that is strong. Now look at the branches and notice that they are varied and crooked. There are none that are perfectly straight. In fact, they all seem to be crooked. God created these special trees that slowly grow for a special purpose. These trees are whispering with music. Hear the names of Abraham, Elijah, Joseph, Job, Moses, Gideon, Samson, Rahab, Abraham who was old, Elijah who was suicidal, Joseph who was abused, Job, who went bankrupt, Moses, who had speech problems, Gideon, who was afraid, Samson, who was a womanizer, Rahab, who was a prostitute. All these people were imperfect, and yet God called them to carry a light to the people. They, like the trees, were crooked sticks. God uses flawed people to share hope in a flawed world. Hear the trees as they share with you their special purpose. High in the mountains are the most valuable trees with tightly layered wooden grain used to create the most beautiful sounds for the most beautiful stringed instruments ever made. Stradivari instruments. We are like these trees as creatures of God. We are not expected to be perfectly straight. An old medieval saying says, God draws straight lines with crooked sticks. Now, with your warm boots on and wearing your coat, walk down the mountainside to the valley 
where the grass is green and soft. Remove your coat and breathe in the air around you once more. Prepare yourself for a time of spiritual refreshment as we gather tonight and as we prepare to create beautiful music together. It is said that music is conversation without words. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Formation. Amen.